Okay, uh, touching back. Okay, we're back to the web page. I gotta scroll forward a little bit uh, to be sure that I don't miss. Okay, yes. Yeah, so there's. We thought long about heard about this. Okay, we've we've talked about in the previous video. This is a uh, obviously a YouTube video. Oh, this guy. I discussed him in in a previous video. It's an, actually an Air Force Reserve uh, logistics unit, I believe it was, or refueling unit. Or, you know. Anyway. So there was that beginning of October first. Get camped out. Okay, we talked about that. Okay. Uh oh, here we go. Nope, 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 nope. Here we are. No, nope, we're not at the picture yet. We're not at the picture. The one. Okay. So let me cross back over to the Word document. Much better, huh? Huh? Don't you like that? It's nice. No, Chris. <laughs> Please don't do this to me. <laughs> and for those, you know, again, Predator Help Desk. Look, if you know, don't. If you need to highlight a, ho a whole line, right? Isn't that a pain in the ass dragging? Just go here, right, right, right arrow. Okay, it fucks with you a little bit, but you get used to it. You know, boom, boom. Keep your thing out here and just do it from a distance, man. So anyway, wow. So that's where we're at. So we're synchronized. Hold on. Oh goodness gracious. Okay, catch predators. The New Republic. Okay, so uh, show up with a gun in his car. He showed up with more than a gun. It was a gun, duct tape, and something else, and a black bag. Okay. Was it a zipper bag? Was it a bag that was ready to put your hand in? I don't care what you call it. It's a rape kit, okay? I don't mean to be offensive, but that's what it was. It was a goddamned rape kit, and this guy was going to be a cop. Joseph Buchanan, that son of a bitch. Oh, Jesus, dude. Jesus. A rape kit. And thank BTK for that, you know, as far as I ever, ever heard of such a thing. Besides him and, uh, oh, the other dude from Florida. Oh, God, did I just say Florida? Damn it! <laughs> that guy came out of Colorado, man. So fuck you. He wasn't a he wasn't a uh, a native. Okay, Floridians are good people. God, dang it! Let's get back. That's not what this video is about. I am not gonna get suckered into defending Florida. Another predator. Okay, admitted to police to having. Oh God. Yeah, and, and, you know what they forget to tell you was yeah it was a 15 year old boy. <laughs> Because you know what, girls just aren't gonna let themselves be sodomized. Okay, I'm just sorry. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, I'm just saying. And besides that, I I know from other articles I've read. Okay, that's what it was. So yeah, Oof. in almost every case, they were ext oh, extremely specific. Ah. Oh! <laughs> sexual acts, how they would start. Oh, you know what that tells me? The chat logs. You feel sorry for them till you read the chat logs. And the chat logs you find out are like, you know, the other part of the, the equation, the puzzle or whatnot. And that's where it kind of, you know, I, you know, uh, I would have hoped that, it would, the, that they would have maintained a relationship with the PJ site or the PJ people. Those guys have this stuff down, okay? Why are you going to reinvent the wheel, okay? They already have a system, a system that works, okay? A system that works. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. There's lots of controversy, and yes, yes. <laughs> oh, God, so many videos I could do about those guys. <laughs> but we'll leave it at that, you know? I mean, there's more to it than just... Stubbing your toe on the banister, okay? There's a lot more to it than that. So, uh, oh, so Hanson says, okay, I thought this was the cop, but Hanson says, okay, Hanson told me, uh, the guy who wrote the article, in almost every case, they were extremely specific. And I would say, I would go so far as to say graphic, okay? That's what I would have said. They were extremely graphic, okay, about the, what they wanted to do, what they intended to do. There we go. Want is not a crime. Intended, well, you know, intent is part of the legal process. So they were extremely graphic about what they intended to do. Which sexual acts and how they would start. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Hanson told me, the writer of this article, you could see the grooming process. Oh, now, come on now. We all know about, 
we all understand both ways. <laughs> That's why you keep PJ involved, okay? PJ has this stuff down to a science, okay? If you're bringing in some amateur online decoys, online decoyism is, um, you know, trust me, there's guys that have already made those mistakes, and they have learned from those mistakes, and they're in PJ, and that's, you know, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You could see the grooming process in action. We'll do this in the kitchen. <laughs> yes. Yes. We have seen the kitchen. Oh, we're all these things were going to take place. Oh, God, we've seen the remodeling. We've seen the mudroom. And I'm going to tell you this right now. We did see the attic. The attic was that blue room upstairs with the arched roof that came down. That was the attic. I misinterpreted. If anything, I probably misinterpreted the uh, the basement as well. But, you know, oh, well. Oh, my God, no. What? We'll take a bath together. Oh, <laughs> but there's only one bathroom. Boo! Boo! There's only the cocaine bathroom. That's the other thing I failed to identify during the floor plan walkthrough, and I realized later, not like I watch my own videos, I simply uh, go back and double... I, 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 I spot-check my stuff to be sure I'm correct in what I'm putting out. And one thing I realized was, oh, snap, that was that half bathroom next to the mud room. It's the cocaine bathroom with those ridiculous, I guarantee you, if you did like a ton of coke and you like stood up, you wouldn't want to leave that bathroom. You're like, this is the coolest room I've ever been in in my life. <laughs> Meanwhile, the police are waiting for you outside. <laughs> oh, so bad. Yeah, we'll take a bath together. Yeah, unfortunately, what you didn't know, Predator, there's only one bathtub in the whole goddamned house. What? Yeah, they need to have... They, it needs another bathroom, guys. Needs another bathroom. Sorry. I, You know, I'm just being real. Unless you get some people without kids, you know, blah, 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 maybe. But no, you know, even a husband and a wife need two separate bathrooms. You can't... I, I just don't see it. It doesn't, it's, you know, I mean, I used to do it. I ain't going to lie. But as I progress through life, uh, yeah, <laughs> two bathrooms. And I don't know what she does in there, and I don't care, and vice versa. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Okay, in all, Hanson's Sting. Oh, another title. Hanson's Sting, dude. Capitalize that ass, motherfuckers. What? Yeah, that's called grammar fascism. What? In all, Hanson Sting netted 10 men, all arrested by Fairfield PD. And, and, and yeah, I've seen that article, and we're going to look at that article. Hopefully, I'm not making no promises, you know, because these other articles, this article took the cake. We're all arrested by Fairfield Police Department and booked into the local jail. See, they went into local jail first with bonds set as high as $1.1 million. Now, see, that's it's a literary device. He's got to wrap this story up, right? He's, he's, gotta, he's keeping his facts compressed, okay? He's not going to go through, well, one was at 25, one was at 50, and one was 75, and then one was $1.1 million. Anybody want to guess who $1.1 million was? Oh, let me clue you in. It was, okay. God, I, you know what? No, I'm not going to do it. No, no, you figure it out, okay? That's it. I'm not going to cater to, to no, nah, I'm not going to do it. Okay. Yeah, you piss me off. You know what? Screw you. Let me uh, come here. Come here, PowerPoint. You go. You go. You know what? I'm about. To, I'm about to just rip out your driver's side window. Go. Go. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try to play me, dog. No. No. Minimize. No. I'm not gonna give. No. Uh, you know what? Here we go. Full screen. And I'm even gonna say this guy. No, I'm not gonna do that. No. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you, PowerPoint. Fuck you for screwing me over, PowerPoint. Like that shrub. Red. It was red. It's in a video series I took down because the audio was screwed by Illuminati powers beyond my control. But anyway, yeah, you're you're so lucky. I'm doing so good on time. Okay. So anyway, uh, uh Joseph Buchanan, uh, last name Buchanan, 
1.1 million. That was him. Okay, everybody else got, you know, whatever their bail was. But that guy, everybody knows. Holy shit. Holy shit. That guy was going to try to kill somebody, man. So talk all the shit you want. Talk all that entrapment bullshit you want. But that motherfucker was going to be a cop one day. Okay? Fuck you. Take your entrapment, roll it up, and just... Uh, roll it up like 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 Lauren Hayden's dildo, okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm going back to Riverside. Fuck yourself. I don't care if it was Riverside or not. I'm assuming it was Riverside, and I'm not gonna check. The charges. <laughs> Another predator. Oh, got so many articles to double fact check. The charges range from attempted. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. The the deputy police chief. Uh, yeah, deputy police chief was pleased with the stings results and he said that Hansen and his team okay I like that instead of his crew finally it's not just a crew it's a team we're not only excellent to work with but conducted as efficiently oh wait excellent to work with but that Without their technological resources, the operation would not have been conducted as efficiently. But still, say what you want about the uh, Predator crew, okay? They're a bunch of dangerous men. They know their shit, and they're all about the f freaking technology, man, so get on it. But when the sting concluded without a hitch in Fairfield, exactly, the sting concluded without a hitch, the deputy police chief breathed a sigh of relief. Let me tell you something. That says a lot right there. That says a lot, okay? It's different when you're in charge, okay? It's real different, okay, as to being one of the minions doing something, okay? And you in your own little world, well, do you have everything straight 100, right? Are you straight out of? Are you? This guy, right, the deputy police chief, put it on the line. And let me tell you something. He held his breath until it was over. Because I happen to know, okay, being in charge. It's not easy, okay? Trust me. And it's not fun. It's not fun. Says a lot right there. Deputy Police Chief breathed a sigh of relief. I hear you, dog. I hear you. I know what it's like. It sucks. Really sucks. All right, let's let's do this for you. Here we go. There you go. Did you just learn something? Somebody just learned something about Microsoft Word. Okay, how to do some shit. Okay, this is where you get your IT experience. Okay, I forgot the period. God bless. There's always a smart ass. You know what? I'm no. I'm gonna do it right now. There you go. Okay, and then I'm gonna double click, and then I'm gonna go boom. And I think I'm gonna leave it at that. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. Good enough. You get the point. No pun intended. This was a four-day operation. Four days. Okay? Four days. But you know what? Say what you want about money and this and that and the other thing. That kept a psychopath from getting into the police department. Okay? Seriously, think about that. He was 100 in the line. But tick-tock, 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 tick. How long? How long? Until he was standing there with a freaking uniform on, with his little right hand stuck up. He's taking an oath. Thank you, Hanson vs. Predator. Thank you, okay? And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You do that second round, I'm there, dude. And I'm going to freaking just hype it up all the way, man. Hype it up all the way. And we worried about things going wrong up until the last moment of the very last day. Oh, oh, testify, testify, testify. In my world, I experienced that, okay? My world is different, but I, I know that concept. I know the concept. You worry about things that can go wrong because it's your job to predict and to, prev to well, not pre well, you try to prevent, of course, but you have to have a plan to answer every single possibility, okay? That's project management 101 right there. This guy, this guy, 
He put it out there, man. He put it on the line. You prevented a, a you prevented something that no one's gonna know. It's his uh, all I'm gonna say, okay, all I'm gonna say. Prevented something very, very, very bad from happening. That could have been very, 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 very nasty. You know, so let me tell you something. There's there's H V P serves a purpose, man. Serves a gosh darn purpose. Hansen was thrilled with how things went. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Hansen's happy we all win. Hansen was thrilled with how things went. As Fairfield demonstrated, this is still very much a huge issue. Okay? It's a huge potentiality. There's, 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 you know, you got to see what this is really about, man. This is about keeping society strung together. You know, you... You prevented a horrifying event that never came to pass. I guarantee you, man, if this guy got his hands on a gun and a badge, holy ma Jesus, holy ma Jesus, you know, it's like, dude, if you prevented 9/11 but nobody knows, well, nobody, uh, no, you you can't appreciate it, and all the things that spun out of that. Oh man, I tell you, I tell you, man, you 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 do that second Kickstarter, I swear to God, I swear to God, okay, I swear to God. Hanson told me the first time we spoke, okay, oh yeah, okay, we yeah yeah yeah, the still version. And Hanson told me the, uh, oh God, the guy who wrote this article, first time we spoke, and then later he asserted, oh asserted, I love the assertive Hanson, man, yes. We just made the safest neighborhood in America. Boom. Right there. Nice. Let's boost him up. Nice. Let's go with some Ariel Black. Yeah. Oh, it's so... Oh, okay. I messed up. It's so nice to, uh, you know, do a, a positive reading to these crazy chat logs. There we go. We just made the safest neighborhood in America. And then I'm going to go Arrow. And then I'm going to go, uh-oh, uppercase, boom, what? And then to make it fit on one line, boom, yes. There you go. I just saved you $250 of Microsoft Word formatting training right there, free. You didn't think it was coming. You didn't even know. Okay, there it is. <laughs> okay, I got to do a time check. I got to do a time check. Oh, my gosh. There it is. The picture. Well, this picture, actually, but these are the same. Oh, the candelabra, the cedar. Oh, yeah, that bush that betrayed me. Oh, you son of a gun. He was red on Google Street Maps. Pure red. Pure red bush, you son of a gun. You lied to me. It's cool, man. It's all cool. Oh, man, we're kicking ass on time. So, anyway, let's go back to the web page now. Uh, okay, so this is the web page. Uh, so, I had scrolled. Now, now, okay, you know what I'm saying. I, I read the first couple of sentences. I'm like, oh, my God, this shit's crazy. Scroll, scrolled. I saw this. Okay, scroll, scroll. You know, I've seen that before. And then I boom. Okay, and then, you know. We're beating, all, we're beating a dead horse. Okay, we're beating a dead horse. Those of you who have seen the previous video series, you've, this is a very familiar picture. This is the one. This is the one. So at this point was when I was scanning this original article like, oh, God, I think it was a week ago. I stopped, and everything changed. And, and because of this picture, I think everything I'm doing right now is going to be Hanson versus Predator because, you know, let's let's – I'm all about the classics, man. I'm all about the Led Zeppelin. You know what I'm saying? But maybe it's time to move into some Judas Priest. What? <laughs> I blew your mind with that one. Didn't see that coming, I guarantee you. But yeah, man. Yeah, man. TCAP is Led Zeppelin. HVP is Judas Priest. And, and those who know, know. And then they find out that Judas Priest is still around. And they're still doing it, man. And some of the priest is just like, oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, my God. Victim of changes. 
Victim of changes. That's what he always says when he does it live, man. Ugh. For those who know, no. For those who don't, it's cool. Don't worry about it. But anyway, so this, now we're truly getting into the, uh, what is it, the Marianas Trench? Yeah, because I have, I never got further than this picture. Okay, okay, I got here. The Hanson versus Predator control room during the Fairfield Sting. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it's this is pretty much it. This is where I left off. Oh, we are back. Oh, my goodness. This is like video five. Oh, we're going deep, man. If you're still with me, man, keep going because it's going to get dark in a good way. You know, hype up the HVP. Tell everybody you know, man, because I'm telling you, all those people, all those mugs, all those T-shirts and all those promises, it's going to be up to us. The guys who didn't contribute the first time around. <laughs> We're going to be the ones that are going to pay for all those t-shirts and mugs. And us, we want nothing. Okay? I I, I don't want a mug. Okay? I'll give you $1,000. You know what I want from you? Not a goddamn thing. Okay? I want. You know what I want? No, I want a bunch of people to get their mugs and their goddamn t-shirts. Okay? It's the second wave, man. And this is why I didn't go around the first round. Because I guarantee you, man, uh, come on, man, $90,000? Hey, there's $90,000 of equipment that's set up right there. Not to mention the hourly rates of everyone that was there. Not to mention the cost to law enforcement. Not to mention just blah, 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 blah. Please, I, you know, you will get your mugs. You will get your T-shirts. I promise you. You will get a signed picture from Chris Hansen. You know, maybe I might be in the picture. <laughs> up no nah, i'm kidding i'm kidding i don't want nothing man it's going to be the second round of people that are going to have to pay for the first round to get their gifts i'm with it i'm with it man let's just be honest about it you know to, you know come on man you know that's what i'm saying that's my outlook and that's my attitude am i wrong very well could be because you know what a lot of the assumptions I made, uh, trust me when I tell you, man, I learned a lot. I learned a lot. I tend to learn when it's time to learn. Anyway, okay, this thing's ready to publish. i got to uh, pick a thumbnail. Just a second. Let me pause this and get back on with this. Goodness gracious. Okay, number four is published. It's time to move on. So this is the web page. Okay, wow. Yeah, the picture that started it all, man. Oh, my goodness gracious. Look at that piece of Sony equipment. Oh, my God. I'm going to get you, dog. I'm going to find you. I'm going to find you. And this other piece of two different brands of equipment, I'm assuming. So crazy. But look, this joysticks and joysticks, this dude, whoever he is. It's not Ron Knight. Ron Knight's a security guy, you know. Is it Mitchell Wagenberg? Oh, my God. I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious, stop. Okay. So here we go. Now, finally, in video five, we are getting to uh, the point uh, in the, uh, the gosh darn, oh, let me get this other thing set. Come on, come on, come on. Quickly. Okay, so now we're going into fresh ground. Oh, my brain is just vibrating before to catch a predator look at this big old bee oh my gosh i think this is the actual start of the article i think we were reading the preamble it's a preamble it's a it's a writing device in which you you start and then you you channel it down and then oh my gosh now we're into it oh gosh before to catch a predator. Oh, this is feeling like a Rolling Stone article. Oh, my goodness. Okay, here we go. I'm keeping up, keeping up, keeping up. Okay. Before to catch a predator, Hansen had enjoyed a successful career in broadcast journalism. But the sex, the sex sting show quickly launched him into a new and very particular... <sighs> I can't highlight. Okay, let me just... Okay, we're tracking, right? We're tracking. Oh, look at that. It comes out bold. Okay. And look at that. Oh, neat. Okay. It's a difference. It's the difference. Okay. Anyway. Before the sex sting show quickly launched him into a new and very particular sort of fame. Now, I'll take that with a grain of salt. If I were to see Chris Hansen somewhere, it'd be like I would just have to suppress my urge 
to gush. You know what I'm saying? Just be cool. Unless you're doing business, don't talk to the guy. You know, don't talk to him. He, You know, he's got his own shit on his mind, dude. He's got shit on his mind. While also, okay, launched him into a new and very particular sort of fame. While also reviving Dateline's NBC ratings. Oh, yeah, he single-handedly put Dateline NBC on the map. More recently, Predator, nice, has been sold reportedly for millions to television stations around the world. What? What's up, NBC? NBC again. NBC. You sons of guns. That David Corvo. That guy. He's dangerous, man. He's dangerous. You can't trust David Corvo, man. Yeah, and guess what? They will never put out a DVD series. Do you know why? Because part of the agreement, and I hate to bog you down if you already know these facts, but some people don't know. Why is there no DVD set? Okay, right? Guess what? Part of the agreement that PJ made with NBC, not Hanson, okay, Hanson, I'm not taking away from anything from Hanson. Hanson's a bit player in some of these pieces on, on the board, okay? PJ is to get a percentage, if not a huge percentage, okay, of DVD sales. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you they pulled that up, that, 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 um, and I, I would almost guarantee you that it was like a George Lucas deal that he made when the movie production company signed over all the rights to the, uh, uh, the bullshit products that you sell. Merchandising is what they call it, okay? They gave it to him. Billions of dollars, okay? Guess what? PJ, according to the things that I've read, okay, is due to a, quote, cut or a, quote, percentage of the DVD sales. And I guarantee you, NBC did not see... They're like, DVD sales? from a like a side story on 2020 hey here you go 100 percent. here you go 100 percent of the dvd sales guess what there's no fucking dvds okay the only flipping reason there is no dvd set okay is because pj pulled a george lucas and did a god dang good deal okay they really did they probably signed a huge percentage in which dateline even if they produce the DVDs and pay for them to be produced, they're going to get a percentage that is not to their liking. Okay? And that, if not for the, quote, lawsuit, okay, is why there is no DVD collection. You know? You sons of guns. But that's why. Okay? PJ has a percent of the DVDs. And that's why. Okay, now back to it. Goodness gracious, I am so sorry. I apologize. Uh, anyway, okay, yeah, yeah. Has been reportedly, and this is this article is only from, uh, <laughs> this article's from, oh God, the time date on the article, idiot. Okay, time date on this article is October 18th, 2015. This is November 1st, 2015. So basically, two weeks ago, okay? Two weeks ago. And now we're back. So, Predator is being sold around the world. I, uh, Chris, Chris, are you listening to me? Around the world. Get your people to start looking at this market. These networks. Fuck NBC. Fuck ABC. Fuck CBS. Fuck HBO. Fuck Comedy Central. Well, well. No, wait a second. <laughs> Comedy Central might pick that shit up. Around the world. There's two places, man. If you pick those two places, it's like the movie Saw. You will escape. During and after the filming of Predator, Hansen also hosted a various of less salacious, nice, salacious, nice, I like it. Salacious, what a word. Salacious operations on NBC, in which, with equal vigor that he applied to suspected, you know, blanks, he chided bicycle thieves, pimps, 
and Nigerian scammers, and also online assassins. Do I need to spell check that? Let me double check. Nope, it's spelled correctly. Really? That's it? Hold on, I gotta double check this. I'm gonna be right back. Ha! <laughs> nice try! Where are you at? Where are you at? Uh, nice try, Grammar Nazis. Boom! Gotcha! You thought you had me. You'll catch me one of these days. You'll catch me many times. Yeah, you'll catch me many times. You'll catch me many days. But not now and not today. I got it, man. Assassins. Double S all the way across. Duh. All right. Yet, this apparently didn't do it for his fans. Oh, come on, man. This is like when Rob Halford left Judas Priest, you know. <laughs> it's just not the same, man. It's just not the same. Oh, my goodness. His fans, who have frequently demanded the return of To Catch a Predator. Nice, nice. Love the grammar right there. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. There was a pent-up demand. I've seen this phrase before. He's said this multiple times. Hanson told me. The most asked question on Twitter or Facebook or any other social media that I participate in. Oh, Hanson participates in these medium me personally nah i don't want to even talk to the guy man i i'm just a douchebag i'm just a, i'm i'm that guy on the train that's me that's me i don't want to be that guy when are you going to do another one i know man i know ever since bowling green man wasn't bowling green yeah bowling green was the last one in that in that funny in that ironic finally Finally, Hanson decided <laughs> to give them what they wanted. Ah! Oh. But now you, you're finding out that there's certain there's there's structures involved, man. You can't just say, "Oh, I want a house, and I want this, and I want that." Well, you know, house costs money. This material costs this. Oh, you want double plane glass? That costs this. You know. So let's be realistic, man. Let's be realistic. You know, let's really be realistic. In crafting the Kickstarter campaign, Hansen enlisted the help of a crowdfunding expert at his talent agency, William Morris Endeavor. Wow. So he kind of, he's associated with William Morris, the talent. See, that's what I'm saying. See, everybody talks all this shit about, oh, Chris Hansen this and Chris Hansen that. And I want to talk to Chris. Dude, don't talk to Chris. He ain't got shit for you. You talk to William Morris. William Morris talks to Chris because guess who he listens to? And all the cacophony of all the cockroaches making all those noises or crickets, really. Not cockroaches, but really crickets making all those noises and wanting, wanting, hear me, hear me, listen to me, listen to me. He listens to one person. That person is by representative, obviously, a crowdfunding expert, just one guy with this guy. I need to find out his damn name. Uh, at the William Morris Agency. The, you know, which in the endeavor is some sort of subset of William Morris, you know, so that's kind of scary, you know, but that's who he talks to. If you want his attention, you talk to these guys, and these guys filter the chatter because, you know, people are people, man. People are people. All right. It's the girl that want to come. It's the girl that want to come to the party, okay? It's the girl that want to come to the party, you know.